guys i think this is my strongest tree do you see the trunk how thick it is i think this is the largest tree that i have because it's on the runoff water way see how tall it is people used to tell me that i water my trees a lot because i used to water them like three times uh no twice a week and sometimes once a week and people would tell me oh you know you water your trees a lot you should just leave them to grow but i've come to realize that siriamiti nimaji that the secret for healthy trees is water and i only put goat manure in them once a very long time ago so you can see here some of them didn't grow they failed so i'll need to replace that someday so yeah I, I put goat manure once a long time ago and now some of them have grown like this ones like it's so slow although i think this is a replacement i don't understand trees sometimes they're those that grow they're those that just don't they're those that are healthy like this one initially started planting the trees these cypress trees were the ones that were growing quicker but someone had told me that pines actually grow quicker once they catch once kishika once they you know what it do you call it get the drill they grow quick and you can see how strong and tall this one is as well but then it might be stronger and taller than the other one i don't know so pines have actually impressed me look at that one oh i'm so happy so pines once pines decide to grow they grow there's some competition between this pine and this cypress it's the only one that i've seen get this close to each other i love trees i grew up seeing huge trees at my grandma's that she told me she planted a long time ago so i think i've taken after her because i just love seeing how grown my trees look oh mm. Mokemani gani mimi sijui mokema Oh. Oh. Sasa sasa ya Nini? kujifunza hii story. A lot of grass for the cows guys. For free. So guys, I told them to make sure that the holes are circular because I learned that the best retain water like this whether it's rain water or when you're pouring water when holes are like this uh, your trees thrive because they have water instead of water running off to other sections so this is cypress and someone had advised me 
at some point it we cut this top part so that it the tree grows like this but i was speaking to one of these guys and they're like no this is not that kind of a tree i don't know if it's not taproot that only happens for tap roots but this one's gemita fibrous i don't know i need to google and learn more but he's advising me not to cut the tip that this kind of tree would die this one still i've seen in other places even when they grow way bigger they don't stretch a lot they kind of grow almost the same and they just grow uh, vertically so we want to plant <laughs> So you want to transfer this hen and its cheeks to the main No, no, they are so silent. They don't want to be caught. This one's want to be fighting me. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, Every time they come from isolation, they try and take a shower in the soil. Guys, as you can see, the cows are enjoying the grass. So when these guys do the weeding, they throw the waste grass across the fence and the cows love it. So guys, as I'm uploading two videos for you today, by the way, I'm going to go outside and uh, pick some beans. My beans have grown, by the way. My maize have started getting the corn, but I don't think they are ready to be harvested. But the beans, I believe they are ready to be harvested. So I'm going to go harvest some beans, water my kitchen garden as well, as I leave my phone near the Wi-Fi so that the videos can upload. Uh, I guess quicker because I've noticed for instance if I take my phone with me to the shamba and the Wi-Fi is in the house uh, once I come back and I check the progress of my uh, video upload it says failed uh, it just refuses to upload I think because maybe I'm outside the buffer I think it doesn't have a wide range so that's why I won't take my camera with me but I'm sure I'll get to show you guys that uh, content sometime later it's a little dark, I know, and we're in broad daylight. Actually, just came back from uprooting beans from my shamba. That's why I got startled and I realized I just rubbed sweat off my face with some dirty hands. So I guess Nikona my topic also. But um, yeah, just giving you a quick update of my day today. So yeah, I was uploading two videos and I was like, ah, let me go get busy out there as I leave the phone near the Wi-Fi to upload and coming to check, guess what? Upload failed for both of them. Now I have to re-upload. One of them is like 54 minutes long and uh, based on past experience, that might take me up to 8 p.m. uploading. The other one is like, I wanna say 15 minutes, no, 30 minutes long. Uh, it says it has three more hours. Man, I was at 30% on that one before it failed. But if vlogging Manenos, you have to have a strong heart because sometimes you're like planning to do things this way and then things just happen their way, the way they want to. So yeah, we are uploading and hopefully I didn't go with my phone. Usually the fail upload happens if I take my phone away from 
you know, the Wi-Fi radius, but I left it in the room, so I don't know what happened. Uh, and it's solar, so it's not like electricity cut off. Um, but anyway, yeah, the guys are continuing to weed the trees. They have done a great job. As you know, I have a lot of grass near the trees, but they've gone for lunch. By the way, today I told them I can't cook for them. Um, I actually wanted to rest, to be honest, today. So I was like, I'm not going to bother cooking. Um, I'll just chill and do vlogging and then nikaboeka like sometimes if you do the same thing it becomes monotonous and you kind of lose interest so as soon as i felt like i have no interest to edit new videos i was like okay let me post the ones that i've already edited and then go do something outside because I, I enjoy being outdoors anyway <sighs> so yeah um also i don't have eggs and you know i usually cook pancakes if i have workers around because i'm not gonna cook like ugali mchele i did that during construction and i feel like folks were ungrateful based on the quality of job that they gave me so i'm not gonna kill myself making like a whole meal for people so i usually do pancakes they're also not like hard or easy uh, but given that i have i'm a post-surgery patient uh, sometimes given that I have to stay standing up cooking, um, especially if I have a busy day, I, it, it tires me. So I was like, today I'm not cooking for you guys. And so I told them, so they were asking me where they can find food around. Uh, we don't have, because you can see, you know, my neighborhood, I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with it now. Uh, the nearest shop is not far away. It's, you know, I would say it's not a maybe not a mile maybe half a mile away from my house uh, and then we have a restaurant that's probably a mile away from my house like it's not like a big restaurant one of those kibandas small restaurants uh, to serve you know people in the community or near construction areas so I told them about those two places and uh, I was telling them uh, why didn't you guys come with like bread right because if i were them me i think I would, and i know i'm going and they are they're also familiar with the area like they know that there's no shops around my place so i'm thinking if i were them i would come with bread you know if i'm coming from town bring bread and so they were laughing and they're like i eat bread ask for uh, to carry bread one of them was like me i can't carry bread and i'm like why can't you carry bread and he's like he just can't carry bread and i'm thinking bro like bread is light and he's like oh what if we come in and then we don't find you and we already come with bread i'm like you guys in the first place called me before you got here to confirm if i'm at home uh, and i know you guys you wouldn't walk all the way from town and come here uh not knowing if i'm there so there's no way that would happen if you would carry bread and come with it here and i'm not home you've got to call me i know you guys they just can't come without calling me so he's like he can't carry bread and then i thought i'm a maybe they think bread is the light is a light meal so i told them um what about ugali like why don't you tell your wives to cook ugali for you and then um come with it here and then i can warm it for you and they're like i ugali one of them was like nitoy ugali town like i carry ugali town i'm thinking what's the big deal i think maybe it's because they are men because me if you give me a job like far away and i know there's nothing near what's a far away like at work when i used to live in the u.s and i worked in an office not even in an office even when we were working in nursing homes me i would carry my own food because i think it's healthy it's affordable and uh you know it's better off than buying food so right now they're 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 like well, where's the nearest shop we had there's someone who makes gumus here those hard uh mandazi like snacks and i'm thinking if you're gonna go far away to buy those things those snacks why didn't you just come with them so i was telling them at least come with bread and come with milk even if i won't cook tea for them even if they'll drink like milk and bread you know itself so i guess they don't want to come with bread from town they don't want to come with ugali so i can't uh, there's nothing i can say about that so yeah they've gone for lunch and me i've uprooted a lot of nini um beans which i wanted to show you but i couldn't take my phone away because you know it was uploading some vlogs but then it was go fail so i'm thinking ah, hata ningejua basi ningeenda na simu yangu ni record but yeah i won't do it today i'll just show you guys at a later time once this videos finish uploading which might go all the way to usiku so I'll go Dandora some maize for the chicken, basically kudondoa. 
remove corn dry corn from the cob for the chicken so that's what i'm gonna do and chill out there and maybe work on those beans and yeah that's it for today it's a saturday by the way Kuna mtu aliniambia alikuwa anajenga site fulani. Na une dhimiti maabatagia na aga yari gorofa ate abatirie dhimiti akiwa tango kwa dajo ngire wera. Lakini dhimiti ni mzito kuliko mawe. Yaani mawe moja kobole. Mm. Wabatia ukare huongori. Oh, with the fourth floor. Mm. Eh, first floor, go to Huang Mori. First floor, go to Huang Mori. Oh, no, 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 basi kiti nini enewe ni unachoka lakini eh unapata pesa haraka unapata do yako so hiyo 200 uko na dhao yako unaenda nyumbani pena hiyo hata ukibeba 100 usikie umechoka ukainoka unaenda eh nyewe yote utaweza ukitaka kukaa naenda kuika rangi nyadhi na ishara unaenda kukua ginyadhi no leo mudenya mujengori Ai ona haha ngewe igua ga tota ima wira. Sio sio Exactly, mjengo by the scene ni. Singu. 
Exactly. Koroga ni once once. Once once. Lakini mame. Siku ya kukoroga I agree. Yeah. Bas ni mzito. Lakini hizo siku zingine ah, uchoki. Sa. Lakini kulima unajua unalima mm. throughout na ni rano ga. Huko nani guga huko? Ngeli mm. aka kanyoni. Kai. Macho unasema najua na record YouTube. Unasema kukoroga na kulima afadhali i mean ku, kujenga afadhali kulima ni afadhali kujenga na kulima afadhali kulima nasema aje koroga nikiambua koroga na kulima afadhali nikuje kulima afadhali kulima but ikifika kazi ya kila siku ya kulima versus kukoroga afadhali versus kujenga afadhali kujenga si ndio hivyo ndio nilikuwa nasema juu naona anga mafundi ama watu wa mkono kila mtu actually could unakoroga roga mali Ah unajua hivi kazi ngine tuseme kujenga. Mm. Kuna ingine tu huwezi force. Ati unaenda unaletea fundi mawe, unakaa, yeah. unamletea mawe tatu unasimama, unangojea sijui nini. Mimi niliobserve nikaona kujenga. Yeah, Afa, eh kazi ngumu actually ni ya kulima. Mm. Lakini nayo kujenga wanalipisha mingi eti cause ni skilled labor. Lakini kazi ya kujenga mm. inafaa hata ilipwe pesa mingi juu hata ni risk. Sasa maana risk mingi sana. Inafaa iende. Nini maana anacheka? Hebu niambie sasa uende mtu aguke kutoka kwa hiyo nini? Kutoka kwa hiyo fourth floor. Na kama nyumba kama hii yeye si agorofa. Na studio si hata hii ukuta inaweza bomoka ikuangukie. Wewe unajenga ibomoke ndio ikuangukie? Sina kuanga accidentally ndio nasema. Bahati baya. Ah kuna. Ukuta kama hii. Studio. Ujai ona nyumba imepomoka eh. Wewe sasa mimi niko na swali ya nani ya Maina. Maina. <laughs> Maina by the guys, Maina is looking at me like he wants to fight me. Maina, kesho utakuja na nini? Utabeba ugali? Na na nini? Na tusukuma. Mimi ana niliwaambia nitawachemshia food. Bure. Kwanza ni uke na kakimaka kuna tunye niko hiyo. Kana uke na mukazio na timorito. Na maina eti anasema eti na nikikuja nikukose mkate si utarudi nayo mkule kwako basi. Na ugali. Ugali wezi rudi nayo. Kwa nini? Okay lakini tumesonga. Eh. Sija afika kwa ile na je kufungilia hapa ndio shiragi haha hapa sawa iko sawa si hapo unaweza fungiria tu ndio oh ipande ehe chomanga yeah. ndo ina leak mm. hatire na ore na sini kona pipe mingi za green hakuna venye zinaweza nini thread na kama imekataa ni kato yote nyiko huku aah hapa hakuna si imeja huku kukuta leti motoro na tu iko koja na rauga tima ingi aah ndio nasema aje ah unaona kama ingekuwa mingi hapa Unaona uirimie round. After unaona ile chupa ya maji. Mimi unajua niko mgonjwa. Asikata kwa ni wewe mti moja. Wewe umeichinjwa? Mti moja na unatembea. Umeichinjwa? Haija. Kidu mti moja nimekupea moja. Haija. Nimekupea kibaru ya mti moja. Ehe. Unaona uirimie round vizuri. Si nipo atakana na panga. Eh. Ukiirimia eh. after na uchukue ile chupa ya maji ile 10 liters. Eh. 10 ama 5. Inakuwa 5 liters. Ya ile ya 5 liters. Eh then we cut eh yeah. after na nini yake udunge udunge, udunge. kifuniko kifuniko chini yeah. then tutakuwa naweka tu maji ikijaka inanyonya tu pole pole tu eh uh-huh. bora isikose maji na weke bole hivyo oh. uipandishe mahali hapa chu oh simple saka unakuja kesho unge kwa hivyo one month unatoa matunda aya hii kitu inatembea nimekuwa nayo tangu november november sinaweza kukosa lucky for me after all this discussion 
the guy ended up uh, you know weeding or working on the passion fruit by creating the white hole that he had told me and uh, we had some interesting chit chat with them and they were telling me how uh, they actually don't like working for rich people because they are one of the worst employers in the sense that sometimes they go to work for them as uh, casual laborers, uh, for instance, in construction projects. And then these rich people typically refuse to pay them uh, after they've done the work. <laughs> Nanema <laughs> 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 Ni <laughs> 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 Once a week, na a when do unayelekeza? Uh -huh. Unayelekeza after hapa sasa. Naweza oh. funga na kamba, uyonyeshe pare juu, uh -huh. ano hapa. Uko juu aje nani? Nasema, unaniga uh -huh. sauna. I'm glad that they ended up helping me with this passion fruit tree because initially he made it sound like quite an easy task but as you've seen, it involved a lot of work to put the pole, to dig the hole, to tie it, to water it. Yere! <laughs> Saa kumi ya subui! <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Kwanza <laughs> 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 Awa 
Wapi? Na ni kanisa? Eh. Na mulipata pesa ngapi? Tulilipwa usiku na mchana. Hiyo na hatuku kwa mpri. Na ni hiyo ni tabia shika na. Tulilipwa 1600. Pa pa de? Kwa kila mtu. Sixteen hundred. She has the kumada iko migi nya zake the following day. Thai gato. You are the itoshi. You are the. Look at you, I kiwa imewa. One thousand six hundred. Thai gua. At your route, one thousand six hundred. Kumada iko mishi ya roshi ne. Ginya thai gato mude nyoyogi. Na muga ka demoru. Ah, unajua i. Maina. Unajua shida. Na muna. Shida ya koroga. Na na ni wega kwe shuka. Muga ka demu ni nani ya demoru. Unajua shida ya koroga. Inakuanga kontra. So na ukianza uwezi acha. Unajua mwenye basi alikula hiyo pesa hata kama ni contract. Mm. Ni ore hawamwetire kwa. Eh. Sasa saa 10 saa 11. Asubuhi. Mkatoka for a day za 10. Shia hoine. Ukikucha. Saa 10 ni shia roshine. Mtaego koma. Imani. Na mnakula nini? Bwana Jesus Kristo kula ngumu mbili na chai na ngumu mbili na kiroho. Ngumu Ah mimi nilipotea nilisema <laughs> Mimi nilienda 6. <laughs> Na nikamwambia mimi stand hiyo siwezi lala hapa. <laughs> Kama mbaya mbaya. Na nilipo hata same same day to go back to Canada saa 2. Kai. Hata tukifika kwa nyumba. Tukatola the that day the following day saa sapa. Ya usiku hiyo group yote. Unajua vinye bedhe nimekuanga nikisema? Agikoro hea ndo magiro ko hea ite yo People who need to be respected ni watu waka umjengo You guys work so hard Very hard working Kai Saiza tulitoka the Tuka mwaliza yo saa kumi Hmm Ata asimu kuwawa Tuka kwa nyumba tuka kwa Tuka kwa nyumba tuka kwa kazi Kazi ingine Tuka enda ika tukalia Tuka tapa the Nati day the Tuka kwa nyumba tuka kwa nyumba tuka kwa nyumba ไอ้เนี่ยนะคุณเอกินเนี่ยคุณเอกินเนี่ยคุณเอกินเนี่ยคุณเอกินเนี่ยคุณเอกินเนี่ยคุณเอกินเนี่ยคุณเอกินเน
I, I act, I'm forgetting where I've been because my understanding is that especially if you're working for is it like a private company right and they send you to work at a nursing home when you're getting paid that seven eight nine ten eleven twelve dollars an hour I came to learn way later that the company would be I forgot what their names were are they they're not consultants but I'm just gonna call them private camp agents agencies if you're working for an agency the agency my understanding is that would be getting paid like forty dollars dollars an hour per patient and you you're getting the ten dollars twelve dollars an hour so i feel like it's the same thing with these guys the contractor who sends them to these jobs gets paid probably a lot more and then pays them the 1600 which sounds like a lot because on a regular day basis they would make like 500 or 600 a day so them getting 1600 for working for 24 hours plus uh to them is a lot of money because they're looking at it as if they're getting 800 a day instead of the five six hundred a day so they feel like they're actually getting extra paid by the 200 pay uh but yeah i feel like i've walked in their shoes obviously i would say physically the work wasn't as manually intensive as theirs and um, at least i had to like see it when the patient is asleep and there's nothing else to do you know you just sit and read if you're a student or watch tv things like that but yeah i feel like i've been in their shoes actually Guys, today is the first day that we transferred the brown hen into the general chicken area and it has four chicks and unfortunately two of them, as you can see, were machined I don't understand how yet all the others are in. So, kazi ya kukimbiza sasa ndio hii tena. So guys, I've ended up catching one. It doesn't belong to the black hen. And poor thing, the gray chick doesn't know its mom is the brown one. And you can hear the black hen making noise because it's trying to chase it away. So one more remaining. <sighs> Man, I finally caught the last one. And this is the only part of chicken farming that I hate, honestly. Chasing them around when they're so young. That's why I keep them in there isolated for like two weeks. So that they regain strength to move around and hang around. But then they become so fast for me. <sighs> that I have to like... Man, chase them around. Like I feel so bad about having to do this when they're young. And this is quite high. So I don't know if it's the issue. But you know they can fly here even when they're like a week or two old. So it's not a matter of like they can't, they have to climb, they can fly. But even here, story na fly. I don't know, mama ya kept semi ako ile corner. So you see them going there instead of here. And um, sometimes when there are many with other chicks, it helps because, you know, they see other chicks go up, they go up. But you know, the mother gets tired. Like the mother is in there right now. Now she's not coming out, although she can, she's still restless because she can tell one of her chicks are out. But at some point they get tired and restless of showing them how to fly and climb up here. Remember the one that we got with Kinachalo that night? He jawai potea tena. It has never gotten lost. It's one of those ones over here. So you see the like brown head is like a black head there. It's never gotten lost. Anyway, here you go, sweetheart. Don't do this to me. Now let's see if you'll find your mom. Mom, see the little chick over there? I love the way this little one speak. I don't know if you can see the black head. Do you see the black head with the white beak moving? Where? I'm telling you. Sibure Maya is expensive. No wonder eggs are expensive because raising chicken is no joke. And that's it guys for this video. I sure do hope that you enjoyed it. It has taken me so long to edit it. But I'm glad I finally did. I think it's quite an interesting video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And um, I hope you've at least 
uh, seen or heard how hard these construction workers work and remember that I actually posted a video where these two guys were requesting f requesting for financial assistance so that they can have capital to ha start some small businesses and yeah I've posted a video about that it has gotten over a thousand views and I haven't received even a penny from anyone telling me that hey I've sent you X amount of money for them so please please if this story touched you see if you're able to have anything from your pocket uh, to contribute towards their financial capital so that they can start a business and like I said we're going to document every penny how it's spent so yeah I'm all about transparency and uh, I wish I was honestly monetized by YouTube and getting good money because I would have started this as one of my community projects that someone has been encouraging me to start so yeah thank you so much for watching if you're able to help them i'll really appreciate it for everyone who's helped me because i've received some money but people are specific that it's mine because i do ask you know is this by mistake and they're like no that's yours so yeah if you by any chance uh thinking of sending me money uh, my number is in my description box my number is also in that video my number is 0795 five five zero eight four three so yeah please send me um their contribution if you're able to i'll appreciate it but if you really want to help and you really don't have money don't feel bad i understand i've been there just pray for them that everything works out well for them so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support by liking by watching by sharing by subscribing and also the financial support i really really appreciate it happy easter sunday to you and all the best in your endeavors